Four states to watch in 2020. All month long, we're taking a look at how other states have fared with legalized pots, pot in the hopes that Arizonans can be informed with legalized pot likely to be on the ballot for us in 2020. Tonight, we'll see how California's recreational marijuana industry has become the largest in the world, but that its black market may still be bigger. California, known for its beaches, opulence, and the movie industry. But the Golden State is quickly becoming America's greenest state. In 2016, California legalized pot for recreational use. But the marijuana horse was out of the barn long before that. In fact, California has always been at the forefront, going all the way back to 1972 and the nation's first initiative to legalize it. Although it failed, the way forward wasn't hard to spot. In 1996, voters approved Prop 215, which allowed medical use. And now, almost 23 years later, the state is expected to rake in an expected $3.1 billion in sales this year, with California now the largest legal market in the world. Has anyone ever seen legal cannabis? Exactly! As part of our due diligence for this story, we hopped on board a bus with Green Tours. And how about this for authentic? Green Tours is owned in part by Tommy Chong. You gotta enjoy it, man. Half of the infamous stoner comedy duo Cheech and Chong. What kind of joint is this, man? Who made a fortune in the 70s with comedy albums and movies. Hey, it looks like a, a quarter pounder, man. We're gonna go in, we're gonna take a look around. You guys are gonna be able to purchase anything you would like. But while you'd think that legalizing cannabis would have killed the black market, that hasn't been the case. The tax has really opened the floodgates for the black market to operate. And these aren't drug dealers you find in an alley. It's not a guy in a corner, it's a, a shop that looks legitimate. However, they are just not operating with the recreational licenses. Which has led to pot busts like this. The problem is, no sooner does California shut one dispensary down, another just like it springs up. And in the mind of David Welch, an LA attorney who represents the cannabis industry, if California doesn't get tougher, the legitimate pot boom could go bust. Dispensaries are not being enforced against. Even when they're enforced against, they simply go and they open up the next day because the penalties are so low, it doesn't dissuade them from violating the law. Maybe Arizona can learn from California's woes. California's tax rates are the highest in the country, which gave birth to an unforeseen black market. But in a state that in one way or another was on the pot bandwagon long before the rest of the country, the question isn't so much supply, but can legal demand outweigh illegal demand? And finally, you know what they say, whatever happens in California slowly spreads across the rest of the country. Do you think that this in the foreseeable future is where America is headed? I think it's, a, it's, I think it's inevitable. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when and how to do it in the the safest way that protects people's private rights, but also protects the functioning of society. All right, and here's a question. How is the pond industry affecting wine country, one of California's other huge industries? We're gonna take a look at that tomorrow night, along with America's first pot restaurant. Our coverage starts tomorrow night here on 12 News First at Four, but we're not finished here in Santa Monica. We have to wait a little while before we have dinner. We're going to take a look at the top 12 L.A. tourist spots that's minutes away. But right now, let's toss it back to Caribe and Mitch.